Hello Virgo, I'm hoping you're doing well. This is your weekly reading, so we're going to continue with the weeklies and this is for September 30th to October 6th. I'm going to upload after this the monthly readings for October. Alright, let's see what are the energies, what are the possibilities, what do you guys need to know for <clears throat> Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Mars. September 30th to October 6th. Already October. Man. What is important for Virgos, please? One more. There you are with your own uh, card. Wow. Working towards something, improvement skills. It's like this is good. Regard whatever this opportunity and partnership here. You feel like things are improving. You're focusing there. It can be about a relationship. The Knight of Swords. You guys get the Knight of Swords as well. I don't know if you're working towards something and then you feel like there's this kind of on a mission energy. It may be about a departure. It may be about, um, you know, a decision here. Hmm. Between preparation, charging in, and then we have crossroads. So you, I feel like, again, it's something that you have been working, but with intentions that soon you have to make a decision. All right. So what is your situation? The Hierophant. I don't know yet if this pertains to some type of, uh, you know, counseling, teaching, higher education, vows, promises, a higher calling, we will see. But it is important. It is a major arcana here. Very, very uh, Taurus energy. And these two go very well together, by the way, because again, the Hierophant is like whatever crisis, whatever challenges, is part of the Five of Pentacles. It feels like someone is being excommunicated here or is afraid that it will do something uh, to be left out um, in, from, you know, this kind of faith, belief, traditional values here the challenge is that whatever it is that you feel like you have to go towards again remember that mission with the knight uh, of swords the eight of pentacles someone here that is very detail oriented and puts efforts and work it feels like the challenge is like what do you need to leave behind what do you need to overcome what is this crisis here and it is something that you feel like in the end will turn into blessings or something that you feel like you have to have a faith and a belief when it comes to these changes that are coming in your life okay it is about your heart at the root of this it is about your heart i will say it might be about a strong connections here but also when the lovers comes in it's just kind of mirrors a situation that hey what it is here that is important to me. At the plot of this reading, at the heart of this reading, it feels like a faded connection or it feels like regarding this major decision here. The Queen of Swords is coming in the past. Now, remember, guys, this might be you. This might be a person here that you're dealing with. But the Queen of Swords may be... Um, kind of the divorce energy here when it comes to a person that feels like they have to abide by certain rules it might be that someone here that has not followed uh, their heart the queen of swords comes sometimes as hurtful uh, can be detached can be the single mother or can be a person here that is not letting their emotions or their heart rule their their mind kind of energy the nine of pentacles venus in virgo pre-empress energy this is, and you might feel like this is the best possible outcome. Here we have something that you feel like you have to go towards when it comes to uh, this person. But the Nine of Pentacles is someone that is focusing on their own fulfillment. It might be that you feel like first someone needs to kind of find themselves here, what they want. It might be you focusing on yourself or when it comes to a person, someone feels like they have a, a freedom here. They're not dependent Remember the nines, not only it is Virgo energy, remember also the eight of pentacles, someone that has been putting a lot of efforts and fortitude and work to gain this individual here fulfillment. So being part of the journey here of the hermit, 
and again with understanding i don't know for some of you if you are divorcing or if you want to go towards something but you feel like will this be uh best for me with the nine of pentacles it's going to be many different energies here for all of you but the the main point is that you feel like there's something that you want to go and you know that the challenge here is like as you go towards the situation what is this crisis what is this challenges that you have to face you want to know that this will be fulfilling that you're independent that you are uh, free to pursue something here the queen of wands is coming towards you completely different energy more fearless more passionate it might be that you know going from this queen of swords you're leaving that behind and you're open to something here more warmth more passionate it might be that this is the person that is coming towards you more of a go-getter the queens all have that kind of water that receptive that nurturing but the way again the queen of wands comes in is more immediate is more bold is more um, a kind of an attitude here that just because i believe that certain things are going to happen um i'm going to go towards it it's, it's just kind of more instinctive energy uh, more charismatic the Knight of Pentacles, in your uh, crown chakra here, the way you're going to think what's best for you and your attitude, how you're going to act is very Virgo energy. You're not going to rush. You know here that there are certain things that need kind of to be methodical, meticulous. Um, you're going to go towards your journey here. You're going to take action, but not impulsive action. And you feel like that there's going to be here consistency or something reliable and financial, uh, I feel like, abundance here with the knight of pentacles it's like the whole um, pathway is predicted okay what you don't see you have the two nines the virgo energy there and um, the piscean that not only there's this physical here and you might be concentrating again on the virgo side and i've said it a few times to you guys and to pisces uh, the things are coming also when it comes to the emotional this is Jupiter in Pisces. This is mostly when it comes here. And of course, both feel like are gratifying. But this feels like that kind of hidden uh, treasure, sublime kind of energy with that Piscean. Um, that's what's coming in. More emotional, more blissful. Not concerned just about the day-to-day, -day, the routine, what is predicted. It feels like you're going to get that wish fulfillment. Someone may be wishing. You don't see here that, again, there's much more. You have to follow your intuition. So kind of your shadow part, your other part here, your Piscean um, partner. And no, you don't have to deal with Pisces, but it is your opposition here. And I've mentioned a few times Saturn and Neptune are in Pisces. So the page of pentacles here is in your hopes and fears again going back to all these pentacles and the worry here the challenge that you feel like you have to go towards something and you're not sure if it's best whatever is this plan whatever is the initiation about a career here about when it comes to a person this serious talk whatever it is you're hoping that again there's something here that is guaranteed and with your virgo analysis you're looking at the pathway here how it's going to unfold the seven of cups the judgment okay you know that the judgment for you guys is actually good right now it is uh the last time in capricorn at 29th degree so actually whatever placements depending here you have in your chart and where uh, your virgo placements are it is trining it's giving you um, harmonious energies to kind of work with this shift or change or lessons or renewal here but the seven of cups it's interesting because it's still it, it's kind of coming with all these possibilities all these emotions and some of you may have also venus in scorpio in your chart which you know kind of goes to extreme you have here in your mind what's best is like individually here focusing on your own needs on your own wants on your own abundance but is saying still here there's all these emotions that overwhelm you why because the nine of cups is external there's still i, I feel like these emotions and um 
content and that you want to kind of this indulgence here that you have to go through so the seven of cups is going to open up uh, and it might be this queen of wands that is bringing this or it might be that you feel very passionate and there's all these energies that you need to discern especially emotions what's real what's not real what's longing um, what is love is like again you will be feeling overwhelmed with emotions but he's telling you this is to go kind of towards your nine of cups towards that wish fulfillment towards renewal renewal here um and uh, i feel like again this calling this moment here when it comes to you and someone else that it feels very important i'm going to clarify why the seven of cups is coming in but i feel like because you still are feeling challenged when it comes to your faith your belief your commitment of this fear that you know whatever it is here you are going to go through some type of crisis um maybe um financially here you might not be well or maybe rejection here that is coming as fear that's why the seven of cups is still lingering there and someone is dreaming of all these possibilities of when it comes to these emotions you want to stay grounded and you're going to act grounded but that doesn't mean that externally here you are still not going to be influenced by wishes and in, uh, this indulgent energy and something here that feels more heavenly. Like this feels like what does heaven uh, has to offer and why, how should I know what's, you know, my true wish fulfillment. That's kind of the energy. You're trying to hold on to your Virgo um, placements here, <laughs> energy uh, tightly when it comes to your mind and when it comes to your behavior but i don't know if there's someone that is bringing still all these feelings what is the hierophant yeah five 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 guys the fives so there's def definitely here a conflict um i don't even know if it's a conflict of interest or when it comes here to your faith your belief your vows your promises um again and your individual needs and wants because the nine of pentacles you might be feeling like nah i'm good by myself right now i just need to focus on myself i need to focus here on what i need um to work at what is the hierophant and the five of swords oh my goodness two of wands and three of wands there is here someone that is waiting for intentions Gemini has this, Sagittarius has this. So there's a conflict regarding intentions, proposals, something that you're waiting to come soon towards you, plans here that you actively have been kind of having and waiting for something to come in. This is setting intentions. This is finally the wheels are in motion. I can see things coming in. But something feels conflicted and maybe because of, you know, when it comes here to the Hierophant, what it is here that you believe when it comes to your faith, your vows, commitment here. I don't know, if, again, if it's a situation of marriage. Or I don't know if you're between two choices. Uh, what is the five of pentacles? You might be feeling that one may kind of lead to a crisis here. What is the five of pentacles, please? Guys... The king of wands, well, definitely there's a mirroring effect between you and someone else. You feel like this is your person. You have to kind of uh, be brave here, not to let pressure or fear when it comes to your heart. Yeah. When the strength card comes in, does love conquer all? What it is here, those basic needs. And when it comes here to something bigger here that you feel like you have to go there again there's this strong strong pull towards something that you feel like you want to go but you don't want this to be just something you know um that is not real that you're kind of acting impulsively here you you want to conquer your fears but also the situ situation here you want to know that there's something reliable And there's, I, I feel like, again, you are, you want, in a way, to keep what you have. But also you feel like being pulled to another situation here, Virgo. What is um, the lovers? Yep, the seven of cups. They're still here. 
something you hope for a reunion or this uh, good news. I feel like the Three of Cups has, has come before for you guys as well. Should you, uh, I feel like even one in, in one of the readings, yeah, you had the invitation. If you have Sagittarius, they kind of had in the 23rd through the 29th as well. There's something emotionally there that is still pulling you. But I don't know if you're ready to open up the door here to something more. Because again, there's that fear of going through changes that you feel like maybe you should just not allow with the Five of Pentacles, whatever those changes are. What is the Queen of Swords, please? What is the Queen of Swords? One more. Hi, there's the Hermit. Let me get another one because this... I am. I feel like, I feel like someone here has decided to kind of um, separate or isolate themselves here. What is this? Yeah. It feels like lately someone has decided to cut through a situation. Though, uh, again, I feel like there's this desire here or for messages or to act impulsively or to be carefree. For some of you, maybe you just got out of a situation and you feel like you have to open up to be more um, flirtatious, more adventurous. Um, it feels like between someone that has, has been or alone or trying to stay alone or uh, kind of reflecting on their situation and then something else here that feels more excited more carefree more impulsive what is the nine of pentacles please what is the nine of pentacles okay so yeah uh, uh. Definitely for some of you, there's some type of consequences, legal matters, karmic situation, contracts here that are affecting you. So, or you feel like you have to be independent first because you don't want to feel stuck and you don't want something to cause harm here. When the justice and the hierophant comes together, yeah, we are questioning here our traditional values, marriage, commitment, um, being on the right, doing the right thing, even if situations are coming here with conflict. What is the Queen of Wands, please? What is the Queen of Wands? Look, this is so beautiful. Whoever this energy, you are the person that is coming in. Because you also have the Knight of Pentacles. This is someone reliable. This is someone Venus, Venus, Venus. All about values here, love, uh, connections, intimacy with you and someone else. This is someone you can count on. Yes, the Queen of Wands is bringing the fire and the passion, but also nurturing here and stability. It might be that this is also the person you want to be with. Again, you decide who you are, the King of Wands or the Queen of Wands. But it is between you and someone else here that you both can nurture each other. And you will take time here with that Knight of Pentacles. It might start as friends and something more, or it might kind of... Um, let's take it slowly kind of situation and see where this is going to lead. Financially, also creatively, this is um, a great time for you guys. What is the Knight of Pentacles? The Death card, it feels like something is going to change or end, but I want to get one card here. What is the Knight of Pentacles? You guys look good emotionally here you're going to take the necessary steps because whatever the queen of wands is bringing you feel like yes i'm going to take that offer and i feel like this is something that will bring happiness joy and the king of cups feels emotionally fulfilled here loving nurturing empathetic some of you may be dealing also with a water sign but again i feel like also this is your um other side here with the king of cups you're feeling good uh, Virgo there's no chaos here with the knight of pentacles there's no uh, impulsive energy it's just something that you feel is going to take you to the destination that you want to what is the nine of cups 
Oh my goodness. Okay, someone is wishing for you. It might be that there's this avoidance or secret admiration here, or you might be afraid that you are not going to get the recognition or there's going to be rejection, but it's telling you, no, you are going to be fulfilled or this person is wishing for you. They want you. It's like, again, they fulfill that other part. That's what I'm getting. There's, there's this compatible energy between you and someone else, but there's someone that has been avoiding this because it's afraid or uncertain. It's like there's, especially with this, I feel like some secret situation going on, secret admiration. What is, my goodness. Yeah, you're hoping not only that the stars were aligned, but whatever the direction here, whatever it needs this navigation where to go through, that there's going to be some talk or some offer that can guide you there. Especially if it's a relocation here or distance or as you're navigating through all of these feelings. What is the Page of Pentacles? <clears throat> the Judgment and the Death card. Again, you have the Judgment. You know you're going to go through this transformation. Um, I feel like a clean slate. Reevaluate something here. But you feel like you're hoping that uh, there's something here that is offered to you as you go through these big changes. That's what it seems like. What is the Seven of Cups, please? What is the Seven of Cups? One more. Oh my goodness. It is the Six of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Remember, we had the High Priest or the Hierophant. And the Six of Pentacles, by the way, Venus in Scorpio, Moon in Taurus. There's going to be between uh, when it comes here to the material side and to when it comes to the emotional. We have the subconscious and the consciousness coming together. We have your intuition is right for something here. It can be spiritual for some of you that you're going to find the right balance. And yes, you have been exhausted by situation. You've been questioning all of this and this is unfolding and still you are going to be going through it. But it's telling you again to find this balance or to share here when it comes. And it might be also because you, some of you are dealing with legal matters. As you're feeling all of this, not to neglect your intuition here, but to find this give and take or harmonious energy or balance when it comes to a situation that you've been very much here feeling oppressed, exhausted, tired, and keep on going until you know you kind of realize you what you need to do. You still are going to be faced with all of this situation, but it's telling you that's when you're going to be able to see how to harmonize or how to share between your um, intuition here and when it comes to your duties, to your knowledge, when it comes here to vows or what is expected of you. Yes, with the Hierophant, we know that we have to abide by certain rules and regulations, but also we know here that we have to follow our intuition. What is the judgment, please? Something that you've been juggling back and forth and it is your wish fulfillment. It's pushing you because it's telling you there's something else here that is going to be really, um, I feel like, magical. And as you, again, it kind of has to give you all these opportunities, but you have to decide what's real. As you're going to go through that Saturn in Pisces, deciding all of these cups, all these feelings as you go through, which one is your true wish fulfillment here? Back and forth, back and forth, until you get to what you truly wish for. That's what it seems. I truly hope this resonates with you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.